What's up dudes, welcome to mission 12, where it's time to get stylish with Dante. This character is completely out of control. The possibilities and options are near endless, and in this mission at least I'll barely be scraping the surface. The depth of this character is utterly insane, so I'll be showing off more and more stuff as we go through, since I'm pretty newbie and have a lot to learn. But as always, strategy is the main focus of my videos, so that's the excuse I'm running to cover for my scrubby Dante gameplay. Style is the goal for the opening battle. I'll be skipping the frost fight that normally comes up later, which puts getting the S for style in slight jeopardy. So it's important to take your time and build it up in the early fights, which are much easier. It's something that I'm very thankful for, however, because doing cool shit with Dante will never get old. The Mega Scarecrow fight is the same. As long as you manipulate the camera well so that only one is on screen, you can take your time and have fun with these dudes. Weirdly, they're slightly harder to juggle than regular Scarecrows, so I make a few mistakes here and do some stuff that looks less than cool. But them's the breaks. Dante is goddamn hard to play, I'll be the first to admit it. Lucky for me, the ugly stuff still builds tons of style points. Exiting here with about 3400 points was my target, so everything was going exactly as planned so far. Jumping this pit with Dante's toolset is extremely easy. You can also activate Devil Trigger for another jump and another air dodge, but it's not necessary with the forward movement from Lucifer. The Fistols are pretty damn easy with Dante. Using Rainstorm is the optimal way to shred their cloak, but it can be pretty hard to line up correctly. I only use it on the first one since I know where it's going to be when it immediately spawns, and an air trick followed by a jump puts me in the perfect position every time. I switched to the shotgun for the other two, since it's more consistent, although slower. When you knock a cloak off one of them, the others can be a real pain since Dante needs to commit much more time than Nero to finish them off for good. But that's where our good friend camera abuse comes in. Turning the camera so the cloak ones are off screen gives you plenty of room to finish the weakened ones, which is very good for our style gauge also. Omen is an absolute godsend in this fight. Being able to knock the shields off every Angelo immediately makes things about 10,000 times easier. It's absolutely guaranteed too. If you activate it as soon as you come out of the cutscene, it's impossible for them to hit you before it goes off. Doing this fight with any kind of style is prohibitively difficult. Playing around with Trickster and making dodging your prime focus makes it kind of straightforward, but it doesn't look too pretty. Most of Dante's high damage options require a lot of commitment, which is something you really can't do while these guys are flying around everywhere. As ever, eliminating the Biancos first so you can fight the Alto Angelo alone is the best strategy. I'm a little sad I didn't manage to break the shield before he died. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do when it gets smashed and he becomes easy to combo, but I suppose that will have to wait for future engagements. Not the cleanest mission, but it gets the job done. 
Hopefully I'll have leveled up my Dante play a bunch by the time mission 13 rolls around. And I will catch you guys there. See ya. You ordered the sword, huh?